we have some sound actually to get to this. This is Jeffrey Lord, who I would say is another softcore white nationalist, yeah. talking with Chris Cuomo on CNN about God. Donald Trump naming a white nationalist bigot as his chief strategist. Let's take a look. Take a listen. You likened uh, Steve Bannon to James Baker. Poor no, no, James no, like Baker. That. No, no, Chris, Chris, I likened Ryan's Priebus oh, to okay. James Baker. All right, that's good. Then I'm fine and, with that. Let's leave it alone. How do you feel about Bannon? I, I think he's been smeared, to be perfectly ca uh, candid. I read Breitbart every day. They're <laughs> no death kidding. on diversity politics. And diversity politics, from my point of view, as you know, is absolute racism. The culture of racism at the core of the Democratic Party for 200 years and the American left has been normalized, to use the word you were using a few minutes ago, that it's okay to divide people by race. It isn't. That's what the American left does. Bannon is opposed. Good for him. Except in what you just said, and by the way, look, the way you just said it is fine. People will agree, they'll disagree. But what Breitbart does, whether they're targeting me uh, or they're targeting other people in the media, is they deceive, they distort context, and they do it to advance an agenda that the media is against you and that everything is the left, and that the system is the left, and that this is about a race war, about and about white America being put down. And now you have that guy in the White House speaking for all Americans. Is that good? Chris, Chris I mean, I just disagree totally with your, with your picture of Steve Bannon. I mean, I read Breitbart every day. I, I mean, it's conservative. I mean, you're, you're not going to hear much difference out of out of Breitbart than you are from Rush Limbaugh. I, 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 you so, that's exactly right. That's a beautiful that, point. Exactly. <laughs> Take it up. <laughs> that's. No, I mean, how much more is in this clip? Yeah, Waz, go ahead. Take it up. Um, that's and that's what I was saying last time right. I was here. If you don't consume conservative media, you don't understand how people get to thinking this way. If you're somebody who lives in the other bubble. You know, the one where science is fake, the one where our president was born in a foreign country. Right. Um, if you you don't know that how pervasive this this line of thinking is. And so what Lord just said is completely right. He's like, Breitbart's no different than um, Rush Limbaugh. And if you t carry that um, a little bit further, Donald Trump's rhetoric is no different from the both of those two. Whether it be Absolutely. Breitbart or Limbaugh or whatever the case may be on the far right, what the, we used to call in the mainstream the fringe, which we've learned is a lie. That's the mainstream of the GOP is right. Breitbart, Limbaugh. So, so he's fringe, actually said some truth there. The fringe chief strategist. Fringe, I mean, yeah, yeah the fringe. totally fringe. The just... right, I, and you know, and the, these people would go on TV or uh, mainstream media outlets, and whenever. The Breitbart wing, the Rush Limbaughites would get brought up. They would say, yeah, but that's just the fringe. You know, the rank and file Republican doesn't think like that. No, it's actually, and this, okay. is, and this is the bigger <laughs> stuff we need to get. But I, I just want to make one really quick point here because they say, like, I think in some ways, like, part of like the i would call it like the pseudo woke neoliberal <laughs> left got obsessed with like you know you know it's like like brad and accounting didn't always use the proper you know gender terms and that's the end of the world and i'm not saying that it isn't a problem but there's but it's like okay on one hand there was this like obsessive focus on relatively small but important things but still relatively small things while at the same time I think some people in some ways even underestimated. I think anybody who was pretty confident that just even demographically alone or that even as racist and as sexist and as, you know, sort of sick as this country is in so many ways <laughs> that we had moved past a certain level of just rank, right? And we haven't. And I think that people need to actually get a lot more serious about these things. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.